Hi. No. Oh, it's getting hot in here. In the fridge. Funny. It's called in the fridge, but it, yeah. Gonna have a chat, are we? <laughs> the power of editing, yeah. Oh, um, I I started uh, when I was really really little with singing with my mum in her shows and singing at school and choirs and kind of yeah found my love of my life and something that I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. So I'm really. Very passionate about it. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm a full-time musician, play at bars, solo, and uh, just working on my first fully produced album. Uh, Each song is very different. Uh, I write most of my songs with my mum. She is the queen of lyrics. And 
some songs I come with, I come up with some ideas and we'll go with her and finish them off. Some songs she'll write the words for and I'll put a melody to it. And depends what moods we're in, really. And sometimes the best songs come out at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, well, at the moment I'm promoting my... I've got a new single coming out called La La Land very soon and that video is going to be released on the 25th of May. And my album's going to be released on the 26th of August and we're going to have a huge party at Biddy Mulligan's. And it's going to be Egyptian theme, which is very cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's going to be an awesome party. It's a really, I'm really proud of this album. And I'm really excited to see where it's going to take me. <laughs> I'm going to play um, a song. This was written, I think it was two winters ago. Uh, and it's called Below Zero. It seems quite relevant to play this now. It's getting frosty in the mornings again. And my low morning voice too, I think we'll like it. <laughs> you will find me a below zero. Where are you when I need a hero? The coldest day of the year, the sky, it was freaky clear. I was all alone, freezing at my home, and I hadn't heard from you. Who will take care of me? I don't need your sympathy. I don't want to be a killer bee. And I when you step on me, because you will find me at below zero. shoes and I hadn't heard from you Cause who will take care of me? I don't need your sympathy I don't wanna be a killer bee And I when you step on me Cause you will find me At below zero Where are you? Between me and the cold Where are you? Where my heart grows old Nobody was already been told Cause you find nothing Between me and the cold Where are you? Where my heart grows My heart grows say definitely one of the highlights was opening for a devil skin I think it was, it was about a year and a half ago now and it was at altitude and that was so so cool and you know I walked out on stage to tune my guitar and there's about 5,000 people oh maybe not, I'm not quite sure there was a lot of people there it was really really fun really cool okay 
Yeah, so we started recording my album, which is actually going to be an EP, last year with a guy called Regan McKinnon, and it was a little home studio called Little Kingfisher. And yeah, started off five songs, and then we did six songs, and then we were four off an album. So ended up finishing that at the end of last year. And yeah, this year just been releasing a few singles, working on some videos, building the hype around the album, trying to get some funding. And yeah, it's a, it's a really cool feel. It's very, I'd call it soul, rock, blues, R&B, maybe. <laughs> it's a very big mixture of music, but um, it's, it's from the heart and it's really, I think it's really beautiful. Um, it's very different from life, <laughs> but it was really fun, a really great experience. And the way me and Regan worked together recording the album was really chill. And we kind of let the creative, you know, energy flow with writing the music to the songs and how they kind of, some of the songs, how they ended up in the end were not how they were written to begin with, but that's what was so cool with the process of you know, of kind of letting the song be what it is. And when you've got two people working together, what one person's writing, you... Well, what was so cool with Regan is that everything I heard in my head, he managed to kind of just play, and then the songs progressed from there. It's really cool. I kind of miss it a little bit, actually. <laughs> um, the next song, I'm not going to play it today. I'll wait for everyone to see the video. Uh, it's called La La Land, and, well, the album's called My Addictive DNA, and all the songs on the album kind of have a theme of, I suppose, addictions, all humans have addictions, and this one is about the naughty addictions. Um, it's, it's a bit raunchy, and I'm quite excited for people to hear it. Uh, the people that I've played it to so far, it's their favourite, so that's kind of why we picked this one as the next single. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Mm. Um, I'm going to play the feature track from the album, and this is called I Want to Be Beautiful, and this song idea actually came from... One of my mum's good friends, and we were over in Fang Mata, which I grew up, well, kind of grew up in the last couple of years, and been influenced a lot there. And she had this song idea called "I Want to Be Beautiful," and gave us, you know, the chorus. And we sat down one hungover morning and started working on it, and then finished it off with mum. And this is what it's turned out to be. Maybe I'm perfect I didn't want to see myself today And I didn't want to hear what I had to say I've been drinking too much, eating too much Looking at myself Guys, my addictive DNA is leading me astray. But I wanna be beautiful. I wanna be
is leading them astray. They wanna be, be beautiful. They wanna be fine. They wanna be powerful, but they can be what they did. Time, time is passing me by, by, by the way there's nothing left to say, cause we've been lying too much, cheating too much, filling ourselves up with disguise, down. Addictive DNA is leading us astray But we wanna be beautiful We wanna be fine We wanna be Cause maybe I'm perfect just the way I am Thank you uh, all all parts of life I'm um I think definitely, you know, the hardships of life is when you feel emotional and inspired to kind of feel the need to get something out and express yourself through songwriting and singing for me. Um, at the moment, I'm in love, so I haven't written very much lately. Um, I've tried to write a few love songs, but it's very unfamiliar to write about being happy. So, yeah, well, we'll see if some come out soon. <laughs> Uh, oh, I love so many types of music. Um, I just, Alanis Morissette is a really big influence for me. I grew up listening to her and Janis Joplin. My mum was an impersonation artist, so I grew up listening to Cher, Tina Turner, Fleetwood Mac, she did ABBA. And it's really funny because I used to go to all her shows with her. I saw all the impersonations of these greats more than I've actually ever had seen the actual artists themselves. I'd heard all of Freddie Mercury's old Queen songs from the guy impersonating him than before I'd even seen Queen. So it's, was, it's very interesting. But, uh, yeah, I love all music. I really love Paolo Nutini. He is awesome. Um, yeah, I was a bit obsessed with him. And I uh, last year got really into blues um, and listened to a lot of Beth Hart. And she kind of, she inspired that first track that I played, What's Wrong With You. The song was written years ago, but the way we recorded it for the album was inspired by her feel. And she just sings with such passion and integrity. And that's kind of the artist I aspire to be, always be. Yeah. No, that is the dream. That is the dream. Just make sure my hair's puffed up. Uh, this song is called Fickle Creatures. And it is, I was inspired by, I did forget to mention before that a lot of, um, my songs are inspired by other people and sometimes people give us a line at a gig and this song specifically, I was at um, the Wahi Beach Jam, which I host quite often and one of my favourite ladies in the whole wide world, we were talking about guys and stuff like that and she um, said, oh, well, we're fickle creatures, aren't we? And my mum overheard and she came up 
And she was like, oh, we're not your mamas or your high school teachers. So that's how this song kind of came about and turned into, yeah, just about, you know, even if you've got kind of everything, it's never enough. You're always wanting more and, you know, changing our, your mind. Changing our minds about everything. I know I do that all the time. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's just pickle creatures. There's Oz Park, we have fickle creatures. We're not your mamas or your high school teachers. We change our minds, we have fickle creatures. Come see some wine, I forget the preachers. When we always have enough I think the law of attraction's calling out my bluff I think I want you but I haven't got the time I'm way too occupied with this ladder I have to climb a wall There's no spark, we are fickle creatures We're not your mamas or your high school teachers We change our minds, we are fickle creatures Come see some wine, have a get the preachers Fickle creatures, fickle creatures. I want my dessert and I gotta eat it too. My self indulgence has got nothing to do with you. Ooh, ooh. I am not smart enough to teach my to think. There's always dirty dishes, there's all keen in the sink. Oh, oh, oh. There's no spark, we are fickle creatures. When not your mom is all your high school teachers. Change our minds, we are fickle creatures. Come see so why never get the preachers. Fickle creatures. Fickle creatures. Do we get what we want? Do we get what we need? Cause it seems to me that we favor things that our minds will want, but our hearts be seen all the things. On the digital screens, but it's mannequin celebrities. But you should be known it into necessities of you wise. Yeah, you'll find we're stuck inside a fickle enterprise. There's no spark, we are fickle creatures. We're not your mamas or your high school teachers. We change our minds, we are fickle creatures. Come see some wine, I forget the preachers. Fickle creatures, fickle creatures. You know we are. Well, we'd like to thank you for coming in, Carl. Um, so there's been a, another episode of In the Fridge, and if you want to like and subscribe below or above, not quite sure where it is on the thing. Um, and like Coral as well, and we'll probably link her too, because I feel like it wouldn't be that smart if we didn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so you can give her a cheeky like little follow and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. <laughs>